What's going on everybody? Survivor Greg here, back at it again! Because you guys enjoyed the first how to ship farm like a pro video. Uh, last video we covered, you know, the ships that you can use or don't want to use. We covered items that you're gonna need. And we covered, uh, you know, how to basically efficiently AFK ship farm, quote unquote. You know, it's not completely AFK, but it is what it is. In this video, we'll be showing you guys some of my favorite locations as well as a few other methods I was working on and trying and as well as is a sea beast core or kraken core better using them uh, either or uh, does that make sense so our sea beasts are cracking better basically so kick back enjoy the video I hope you guys learned something and as always let me know what kind of fruits you guys are getting all right all right so first things first locations now as a water walker, you can really farm anywhere you'd like. As long as you have Magu, Hai, you're far enough away from an island to start spawning ships as your ship's down. With enough bounty, of course. Uh, one of the locations I like to farm at, simply Beginner Island. Uh, nostalgic, nice. Second location, you can actually see it from Beginner. Land of the Skies. Got a nice little chill rock to sit on. As well as you can set your spawn up top. Uh, a little past the gate down the bridge, you can see Robbo there. Another one's Colosseum of Ark in the second sea. Great location, I've got tons of good fruit here. You can just kind of chill on the wall as you guys seen in my other tutorial. But this location is one of my super secret spots. Alright, it's not very practical, it is very far from the Colosseum of Ark, but if you go in between north and northeast, I believe, and just keep heading this way, just keep going. Now it's, it's gonna seem it's gonna be a long journey depending on how much stamina you have if you have Pika or whatever You just keep going keep going and then I guess I seen it if you go a little bit north uh, It's kind of hard to tell you guys how to get here. But it's basically a Skype and rock dude out in the middle of nowhere I was so amazed when I found this. I don't know why it's here. I don't know if it's just an Easter egg, but this is a legit Skyping rock in the second sea. So if you guys want to farm here, I guess you get more than welcome, but your spawn's kind of far, but if you want to, it's up for grabs. That's pretty much it for locations. Now on to methods that I've been working on, experimental methods. Uh, to try to help you guys, especially the guys that, you know, you guys got fruit, you can't walk on the water, man. And you want to protect your board as much as possible. I don't know, you know, the hoverboard really doesn't get hit that much, but I figured, hey, let's just, uh, let's, let's try something new. Now, you're probably wondering, how the heck do you get your hoverboard on the rock at Land of the Sky? Well, this is how you do it. So basically you just fly that bitch onto the rock, uh, easy clap, uh, sorry I was kind of fumbling with my inventory here, uh, freaking out, trying to get my cores out before the ships destroy the barrels. Uh, if you guys don't know much about how to use barrels to make your hoverboard fly, uh, I would highly suggest checking out Wallace's video on that. I will put his link of his video down in the description. Um, to be able to do that. So basically I just use that glitch to get the board onto the rock at land of the sky uh, this is just you know I'm Pika I can beam out of the water but I know a lot of you guys you know you got fruits that you can't really do shit you know you fall in the water and you're, you're done dude so I figured you know hey let's get the board on the rock and then you don't really have to worry about falling in the water repairing your, repairing your hoverboard or anything yeah it didn't work bad at all um, I don't know if it helped me save planks or anything like that, but hey, I figured I'd show you guys and if you guys are, you know, maybe it might help you. And so now we're on to which is better, sea beast cores or kraken cores when used separately. So the first experiment we did was two sea beast cores. I had my main and my all both pop their sea beast core. There was definitely a lot more repairing than if you had both cores out. Um, but other than that, they did pretty well. 
lasted about 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And then with the Kraken cores, um, there wasn't that much repairing going on. Uh, I, I maybe repaired twice, three times at that, compared to the Sea Beast was like five times, six times. And actually, during this process, we actually pulled a freaking high. I mean, he eh? Oh, jeez. I'm going to get roasted in the comments. Um, yeah, they, they both lasted around 15, 25 minutes, I'd say. Both did really well. They both kept up on planks really well. Um, but I'm, I was really surprised that uh, I'm going to have to say the Krakens, man. Uh, I never would have thought. But the way that I did it, uh, not standing on my boards and just letting the cores do the work and just worried about repairs. Uh, Krakens are OP, man. The Krakens really pulled through. I, I didn't expect anything like that. Plus, we pulled our first TA uh, from ship farming uh, in general, period. So, I hope this video helped you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, let me know what kind of fruits you guys are getting. And uh, if you guys got any more questions or want any more of these types of videos, let me know. Peace.